Hey guys, welcome back to Taste of Love. I'm Narani, and today we're making white chocolate covered pineapple rings. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And of course, if you enjoy this video, leave us a comment. Let us know what you like the best. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I have here are my pineapple slices, a bowl, a cookie sheet, it has wax paper on the bottom, and then I put some paper towels on top of it, and then, well of course, our almond bar. But we're going to get into the almond bar part after. So what I'm going to do is open my can and drain out the juice from the pineapple. So right here, I'm just going to drain out the juice and pour it into this bowl. And I really want to get all of it out because I have to dry my pineapple so that we could dip it. And of course, all my tutorials are based on personal experiences, what works best for me. My ways are not the only ways. There's a bunch of other ways to do everything that I do, but this is just always what works best for me. So now I'm going to take the pineapples out of the can and I'm actually going to get a paper towel to pat the top of them dry. So let's go ahead and take these pineapples out of the can. So I'm taking them out of the can and putting them flat onto this paper towel that's right here on our cookie sheet. I'm just taking all of them out. So the canned pineapples are very wet because they've been soaking in juice, so we need to dry them. If you want to see how to do it, how to dip fresh pineapples, leave a comment and let me know so I'll make a video on how to do chocolate covered pineapples using fresh pineapples. So now I'm going to dry them. And basically, I'm just patting them dry. So that when we put it in our chocolate, it doesn't mess up the chocolate and get the chocolate hard. And chocolate gets really, really difficult to use if water gets into it. So that's why we have to dry the pineapples. Now I'm just gonna move them. Okay, so now we're actually going to put these pineapples into the freezer for 10 minutes just so they can firm up a bit and it will be easier for us to dip it in the chocolate. So let's go ahead and put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Okay, so I've taken my pineapples out of the freezer. I have a fork in my chocolate and I'm going to go ahead and dip them in here. I'm going to use my fork to make sure I have an all over coverage. Shake out my pineapple. I'm trying to get all my excess chocolate off so that it doesn't have a big chocolate bob at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put it down. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I have all of my pineapples covered. And then after we have all of them covered, we get to do the best, most fun part, which is decorate. And if you see, if you're looking at the chocolate, the ones on the pineapple, it's already getting hard. And the reason is because the pineapple is frozen. It's not all the way frozen, but it's cold enough because it's been sitting in the freezer for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna keep throwing all of them in the chocolate and flipping them over with my fork so that it's covered and I'm going to use my fork to shake it off. And 
Now if the pineapple was wet, like straight out of the can, your chocolate would be really, really messy right now. It would start getting hard, and then I don't know if you've ever put water in chocolate to see what happens, but it is not pretty. The chocolate becomes really hard to use, and it gets hard, and then it's, it does not melt back easily. Trust me, I've learned that from experience. We have three more slices to dip, and then we're going to go ahead and decorate. But with the last three slices, I'm actually going to cover them in strawberry crunch. So with covering it in anything, what you have to do is hurry up and cover it right away or else you're not going to be able to. So as soon as you dip it, go ahead and cover it. And I'm just going to throw it on there so that it's all covered. And after it dries, you'll be able to shake off the excess. So I'm gonna do another one just like that. Put it down. I'm gonna get the strawberry crunch and then sprinkle it all over for that coverage. Okay, so now let's do the last one and then we'll go ahead and decorate the other one. And if you see, my chocolate is already starting to get hard as in the bowl. And the reason is because we've been dipping cold pineapples in it, so it's changing the temperature of the chocolate. So once again, we're going to sprinkle them. And this is the last one for our strawberry crunch. And we're just going to sprinkle it all over. Now let's go ahead and decorate. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate, but we're also gonna shake the excess crunch off of these pineapples. And it's a little bit stuck with silicone mold. Matt, so <laughs> I said mold. Okay, so we're just shaking it off. And then we're gonna move it to the side. Shake it off, move it to the side. Shake it off. Move it to the side. And we're also going to get these pineapple slices and move them to the side too so that we can go ahead and decorate. Okay, so what we're about to do now is decorate our pineapples, which is, of course, the most important part because it's how pretty it looks. So, a little insider tip, a super insider tip fancy sprinkles. They are a company that makes all of these beautiful sprinkles. It's where I get all of my sprinkles from. I love their sprinkles because they have a lot of combinations. So you can check out FancySprinkles.com and get these really, really beautiful sprinkles. Also, we're going to be using this rose mold for decorating our pineapples. This is also one of my favorite molds. I use them on almost everything and it's really easy to use. So I'm going to leave a link for this mold in the description below. So let's go ahead and decorate our pineapples. Okay, so I have some pink and milk chocolate melted candy. So I'm just going to use the mold and fill in some so that we can use some roses for decorating. I'm just going to snap it so that it fills in all the corners of the mold. So now my ones with strawberry crunch, I'm going to stripe it with chocolate. I'm 
And then I'm gonna strike two more with chocolate. But I'm going to put strawberry crunch on top of it. So the strawberry crunch would stick to the milk chocolate. Just want a little bit on there, not a whole lot. Okay, so now I'm gonna strike this one in pink. I'm just gonna go slowly and strike back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm gonna go the opposite way to give it an X look. And again, I'm gonna do it here. And then back and forth. Now with this one, I'm only gonna decorate one side. And then, the sprinkles that we got from Fancy Sprinkles, we're just gonna put them on this one side. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Fancy Sprinkles and the milk chocolate. We're gonna decorate one side. And then put our sprinkles on there. And our last one, we're gonna do the X's like we did the pink on this one. And I really love these sprinkles, so I'm just gonna add some sprinkles on one side. All right. Now, while we wait for these to harden, then we're gonna put them on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop these roses out so we can put them on our pineapple. I really love this mold because of how detailed the roses look after you pull them out. You guys see them? You see how detailed they look? Okay, so now we're gonna use the piping bag that we had to put our roses on here. Okay, so I'm putting some chocolate right here so the roses would stay. And I'm just gonna stick them on here. And then put the last one right here on the bottom. My candy's getting hard. If your candy's getting hard, you might want to just heat it back up so that you can melt it back. And those are candy melts in there. And there we go. That's my last final touch. Now we have all of our pineapples completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one was your favorite. Mine, of course, is the one with the roses because I love roses. I think they're beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. Leave us a comment. Let us know which one you would like. Let us know if you make it. And if you make it, make sure you tag me on Instagram. And of course, the link for my Instagram is in the description. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave us a comment. Tell us what was your favorite part. Which pineapple you liked the best. Which one you thought was the most prettiest. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And of course, give us a huge thumbs up and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.